स्पेशल टेक्नोलॉजी इन स्वच्छ भारत मिशन एंड स्मार्ट सिटी मैनेजमेंट देर इज कोर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एलिमेंट इन द स्मार्ट सिटी इंक्लूड लाइक एडिकुएट वाटर सप्लाई मस्ट बी देयर एश्योर्ड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सप्लाई शुड बी देयर सैनिटेशन इंक्लूडिंग सोलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इफिशियंट अर्बन मोबिलिटी पोल्यूशन फ्री पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट सफिशियंट ग्रीनरी एफोर्डेबल हाउसिंग स्पेशली फॉर पुअर्स रोबस्ट आई टी कनेक्टिविटी डिजिटाइजेशन एक्सेट्रा दीज आर दम ऑफ द कोर इशूज रिलेटेड विद स्मार्ट सिटीज सो एनी स्मार्ट सिटी मस्ट हैव लो कार्बन प्रोडक्शन ए स्मार्ट सिटी हैव ए स्मार्ट गवर्नमेंट टू हैंडल ऑल द एनवायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम्स then uh, there is a public service in efficient manner uh, data management has a very good capability and quickly retrieval and uh, analysis can be done if required any time then there is smart infrastructure and all these in terms of economy technology energy and community so waste management is properly uh, managed uh pollution is nicely managed and uh, all the sanitation and green development are associated with sustainable city for smart cities in methodology how gis or remote sensing or special technology can be uh, used for smart city in swachh bharat mission uh, we have data input then integration of special non special data analysis and modeling in gis final output action plan and decision is the same methodology as in other uh, any problem uh, its and its solutions associated with environment reducing resource use waste and pollution it can be redesign process and products for reducing resources and reducing waste and minimizing pollution we must make products which are easy to repair reuse remanufacture composed or recycle there should be elimination or reduction unnecessary packaging so we should generate less waste uh, which is basically will be output from the packaging use fee per bag waste collection system then establish a cradle to grave law this is very important a product birth of a product to the death or final disposal of the product it should be in economical friendly environmentally uh, sustainable manner in smart city management a special database of operational waste processing facilities and locations suitable for potential future one was developed uh, with data collection from local authorities interviews from different uh, people or citizens then waste local plans planning and waste strategy documents so all these data are collected for smart city management facility attributes such as addresses operators regulatory and planning status capacities types of process and wastes process were compiled and presented on suitable thematic maps using remote sensing and gis and a database of excavated materials and processing locations with properties including volume capacities and types of transport composition and generation sites has been developed and is currently updated and managed for any smart city and its planning strategic models identifies areas of development opportunities and constraints for long term management strategies gis is used for measurement of transport distances for the assessment of environmental impact of cost accounting and processing locations mapping 
the database can be rapidly updated and queried in order to assist the designers in timely project management and decisions. Waste local plan, urban plan, and planning policy, strategy, documents, topographical, sensitive receptors, transport network, and land use data are efficiently collected and quality assured prior to uh, being imported and analyzed in waste management, GIS database management. The analysis can be used for everyday management decisions, planning and waste strategies and site selection exercises. The most effective management practices for preventing pathogens from entering surface water is to prevent runoff of wastes, contaminated water, and surface water bodies. Analysis and modeling in GIS provide output in desired combinations and manner for more effective planning and management of waste. You know, special technology, as I told you earlier, uh, remote sensing or satellite data because of synoptic coverage, repetitive data gathering capabilities, special information, economically cheaper and sustainable technology, real time data collection and computer compatibility coupled with GIS are extremely useful in monitoring, assessment, evaluation and management of total environment and natural resource management. Remote sensing data or satellite data provides both spatial and temporal information. And data in GIS is of two types, spatial and non-spatial. A digital number is different for different objects. And because of that, a particular object is identified on Earth space using satellite data. GPS provides location about an object or an event. These are some of the references which you people can uh, go through or see. Uh, thanks for any clarification, query, or your questions. Please, uh, you are asked, or you can write me. I'll respond. Thank you.